Hello, people. Hey, everyone. My name is Nino. And my name is Lulu. And welcome to <laughs> Thriving at Love and Relationship. <laughs> Excited. All right. Why are you excited? Oh, this topic is about to be juicy. All right. All right. All right. So, <laughs> what are we going to be talking about? Ah! What have we decided to do? Today, we're going to be talking about sex, baby. I talk about you mm. and me. I sex. Know. I don't know why I'm dancing, but <laughs> mm, mm, mm. AKA Max, AKA Piping, AKA piping? Bola. I thought Bola AKA is like the, running it. the milk reproductive AKA, organ. What is that? Your evil this thing? Mekwe, mekwe. Unguangua. Unguangua. I sharp, love sharp. it already. <laughs> Unguangua. But wait, what's, what's piping? And how does piping relate to sex? Piping like, is the pipe. language for people on the streets. Oh, pipe as in yes. pipe. Yes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Screaming like a child with, with, with uh, ice cream. So yes, we're going to be talking about sex and Piping. what have we... Are you still on this part? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> okay, take some time to, to process. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm back, I'm back. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so what did we say that we decided to do? So guys, we're going to be taking you on our journey of sex. Hmm? Then now, how we are on our sex journey? Uh, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> we are not taking you on any journey. However, we will go on the journey. <laughs> And we will get some findings, do Gosh, some research, they're so serious. and then we will Jesus. share based on our own journey. Mm -hmm. We're not taking one nowhere. We're taking one with you. Okay. If that's what makes you happy, okay. <laughs> we're going to be sharing mean. what we've learned so far. So far about sex. Yeah. And we're going to be doing a sex series. So yep. it's going to be. Mm. So for this video, we're going to be sharing about two things that we've learned about sex in marriage. We're going to shoot another video, another one. We don't know how many episodes this series is going to be, but this is the first video of the sex series. Ah! Dun, 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 dun. Sex series! <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> Alright. So what is the first thing that we have learned hmm. on this journey? Um, uh, when you marry, just know that your expectation for sex, how you think you'll be having sex. You'll be cut short. Ha! Your expectation will be cut short. It'll be cut short. Too short! It will be cut, it will, the scissors, bam! <laughs> Why do you say that? Because, let's to even start with, mm -hmm. I know that in our last video we had spoken about some of the challenges we faced in our first year of marriage. Yeah. And one of the things that happened was that we were not having sex. Yeah. Like for the first month after we got married, you know, it was, it was crazy because yeah. I was coming, I mean, I can speak for both of us yeah. to say that. Both of us thought that we are going to get married and you know, all that pent up sexual energy. We are just going to release it. Today sex, tomorrow sex, like just every single Akamu, day just sex. Just be flowing in and out, in and out, you in and out. What's Akamu? <laughs> you know, no, you know, you know what I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is that yeah. we did have as much sex, in, not even as much sex. We're not, we did not have sex for like one month yeah. in our marriage, yeah. and this was just after we had gotten yeah. married. Yeah. So, and yeah. from your point of view, I mean, because when I had fallen sick, you had, you had said that you, a lot of times that you'd just be thinking, ah, can this guy just run it? And yeah, you were. Yeah. You were in funny. hindsight, I feel like I was selfish. Yeah, yeah you were. You wanted to kill, kill Paul, me. Because... striving for life. <laughs> In the hospital, and she wanted to take the remaining one. No, no, <laughs> don't don't start like that. I don't want to have sex when he was in the hospital. Guy, be I honest. Mean, but I, but I, no, I want to be honest. Me being in the hospital did not stop it from being honey. <laughs> it did not. Uh -huh. But what I'm saying is that I wasn't expecting you to have sex with me whilst you were whilst you were sick. Mm -hmm. But when you had recovered and you were in the house, or you had already come out of the house. Yes, I was expecting sex with me because mm -hmm. I had all that pent up sexual frustrations and yeah. I needed to let it out you know and because he was sick for like a month mm -hmm. we couldn't have sex and even after he had recovered he had, he was he had gone through a period of like mental um what's it called now yeah, some sort of depression depressed I was yeah. questioning a lot of things and you know I was even, I was even feeling sad that I was not able to pleasure my wife because I knew mm -hmm. that 
I mean, there was a particular time when I was uh, about to sleep and I know you had tried to make a move. Yeah, like every time I come and touch you in the right I'm places like, and nothing is happening, nothing like, is standing. I like, <laughs> miss me with that, yes, please. Because, I mean, mentally for me, it was a struggle and I was mm -hmm. not feeling like I was ready and all that. So it took it took a while before we, we got our mojo back. Mojo back, exactly. But when we got it... Mm, mm, mm. What's that? So... But what are we trying to say? <laughs> what we're trying to say is that life would happen. Yeah. For us, it was that my husband was sick. Yeah. For you, for you, it can be something else. It can be that can both of you will travel. We are in different states or yeah. different Somebody might countries. die. You might hear hey. some bad news. No, it's not, not, not out of the spouses. Like a relative oh, might okay. die. Somebody might ah. be grieving. You know, somebody can lose a job. Something can happen. And the way you thought you were going to be. On a sex calendar it's not gonna happen yeah you know and i mean some married couples would be able to to attest to it that, that yeah. you don't have sex every day for yep. six months six months is 180 days so you cannot tell me that you've done 180 days consecutively but don't say you cannot tell me let's not speak for anybody somebody should tell me please <laughs> tell me i'm begging i actually want to see then i will, I will eat my words <laughs> well, well yeah but yeah it's not a it's not it's not a marathon like you thought it would be yeah you know, or that uh, even social media hollywood yeah. um entertainment industry has painted it of to be not, like yeah. oh you're gonna just you be, see movies mm, where mm, they talk mm, about mm. man i went out my husband went for a retreat and it was just sex all through but the fact is what you should ask them is then what next did you continue when you go back home when children come there's different there's a different there are different challenges you will face on your sex journey when there are children when there are no children when your work is going well, when there are seasons of, you know, lack, there are a lot of things that can be. No, let's just say that there will be drought seasons yes. in your sex in life. Your sex life. <laughs> and you have to find a way to make it work. That's why we always yeah. say that sex is not the only thing inside marriage. If other things are not working in your marriage, it's only your sex life, I'm a problem. Exactly. You know? so very true. That's very one true. thing we learned in very marriage true. about sex that it is not what it seems, it is not what they say it is. And this is not yeah. what you expect it to be. Yeah. You will be rudely shocked. However, do you, do you know, just even speaking about rudish, I was rudely shocked. Yeah. Because, guy, we were having convos now, like how are uh, uh, when we get married, yeah. this thing. Actually, we were on the dining the table, yeah, on the chair, yeah. we'll christen the chair, we'll yeah, do this. See, I, I was, and then like, when you move, in, ah. we'll christen that table, <laughs> we'll christen that chair. In fact, what we used to do is that when we get there, I'll be like, guy, how far? We never knocked for this one before. <laughs> Let's run it in the kitchen. Let's run it in the kitchen. Exactly. Let's run it. That's how our minds were. But when we got to the ah, house. And that thing happened. Yeah. And not even just the illness that happened. Then later on, we just life just started happening. Yeah. It can it can be work this month. It yeah. can be something else. It can mean that nobody's yeah. just even in the mood. I think you also went you know? through your own little things where you were feeling a particular way about yourself. But that now affects my sex. No, yeah, no, we didn't have sex. So. No, not your, not not, no, no, it was not your sex. I remember, I remember that time when I was like, oh, that you were like, you were not feeling. Oh, uh, yeah, I wasn't feeling myself. Yeah. I had added weight. I know it's funny to hear me say I had added weight, mm -hmm. but it <laughs> was, yeah, I had added weight. Right my places. tummy was looking bigger. I had, I had, I had breakouts. Had gotten bigger too. And <laughs> I, I had breakouts on my face. I just wasn't feeling confident in my yeah. own skin. So I was just like, no, please don't touch me. Yeah, mm. No, no, I'm not just. And that's definitely, that, yeah. I was like, are you seeing someone else? This one, I don't <laughs> want to touch you. Yeah, I remember, <laughs> I remember saying to him that, that, that uh, what was it I you said, said you don't feel beautiful or something like that. No, even before I had said that because you we were like, What's the problem? And I was mm. like, I don't feel like having sex. And you know, yeah. I felt like, Is it I'm not and doing what, something what right? What I heard is like, I don't feel like having sex with you, with you because yeah. I'm getting piped out somewhere else. <laughs> And oh my god, my ego, I was like, shit. I remember it was one money, it was going to work. It oh, was getting dressed. I couldn't wait to work. We were having the conversation. He said, he's not I going anywhere. To, um, I said, two months this time, my rich, you don't know how I said, I said, God. Yeah, so I had to clarify and say that, no. It's, yeah. You know how they say, it's not you, it's me. Yeah. It was a classic situation. And I'm not lying. Not it's to be me. selfish. All I wanted to just hear that, no, it's not you. It's actually me. When she said, it's me. I was like, my man, I was like, oh, thank God. You have yeah. nothing to do with my, my, my game. I thought that my game was off. And she no, was like, sir, focus. man, this nigga is not giving to me. Sorry, I'm sorry. What body movements are these? Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> but yeah, I was happy it was not my game, you know. I was happy it was her. 
<laughs> but she dealt with her and then you know yeah yeah i had better. that i had that yeah. period yeah, so that's sure. one thing i think that's that one of the learned. experiences we've had we've learned about sex mm -hmm. that it's not it's not rosy but i mean it's beautiful when you you guys have conversations about it and you know try and remind yourselves too but there's sometimes where we've not had sex for one week and i'm at work and i just take them like get alpha we never run out never and i'm like come on guy this thing they wait for you so and i'm like almost 5 p.m which is i just tell my guy come on i'm off and i'm running home to you know to do the do yeah you know and um so yeah you have that's to be one. intentional you have to actually. be intentional about your sex life yep because <laughs> your partner is not always going to be in the mood which brings us to our second point point about sex bam 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 now the second point about sex we were listening to a, I think it was a teaching by Pastor Mildred and she had spoken yes. about how there are two types of, can we say sexes? Two types of sex, baby. Two types of sex. Mm. And number one is the one we all know, beautiful sex. Other people call it making love. Other people call it plowing the garden. Huh? Other people call Nobody it... Nobody calls it that. No, sir, I can bet you. Nobody calls it plowing the garden. Ah! You know, the streets I was in, was different from the streets you were in. So, you're on the streets, me, I was on the boulevards. <laughs> I don't know where you, you were. So, the beautiful sex. <laughs> what is beautiful sex? Obviously, the sex where we are both in the mood. There's uh, you have the candle, you have talk, the There's the build there's foreplay, you know, mm -hmm. the atmosphere, there's whipped cream, you have there's honey, there's um, jam and peanut butter so that you can... By the way, studies have shown that that is wrong. No, it's wrong. It's not medically <laughs> safe <laughs> no, 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 no. for you to put I'm stuff not, like that I'm in not your from, area. I'm not looking medically safe. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, that's why you have all the instruments out. <laughs> the way you guys have sex. We'll whip it out. <laughs> Jesus is much. I'm sorry. Oh, I couldn't the, help it. The blood of Jesus. We'll whip it out. <laughs> so, and then that happens. And after sex, you're all cuddly and... Mm. Mm, 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 touchy and you know, yeah. you start talking, just starts flowing, you know, you know. For men that bond. don't talk that much after sex, so that's when they always and I say, ah, babe, do you not even hit one dollar deal like yeah, that? Exactly. So that's beautiful Prima sex, wah. which that's what most people want to see in marriage. However, root shock, that is not the only sex there is. Yeah. And that is not always going to be the case. Which it brings us to our second the second type of sex from what we have learned. What is it? Beautiful sex. A beautiful sex as in duty? Duty as in duty actually. And beautiful sex really is just the fact that there will be times where you are not in the mood for sex. Mm -hmm. Right? But the other person wants sex. Mm -hmm. And because scripture has already said that your body belongs to your partner, you have to tender your body. Mm -hmm. And it's not to say that... Tender it on your partner. <laughs> it's not to say that if you are tired, there can be, you know, compromise or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But... You owe it to the other person yeah. to serve them with your with your body and with every other yeah. every other thing that you have. So that's where beautiful sex comes in. So, for example, he's like my account. Speak about like for <laughs> men, like how men. Okay, for men, mm. men need sex. It's mm -hmm. something that they need. Why they need it is because it's not just a oh I want to knock and come no, but even when they come, it's like there's a oh, lot oh, that. Can we say ejaculate? Oh yeah, yeah so even when they. Come when they on. ejaculate, yes. right, it's not just the sperm that is coming out. There is a build-up that they are releasing. Mm -hmm. So it's a, also a mental way for them to relax. It's yeah. also a physical way for them to relax. So <laughs> men need sex more than women do. For women, it's more of the, oh, I'm feeling loved, I want to have sex. But yeah. for men, it's, it's more than that. You know. Yeah. So that is where a woman needs to understand that if your husband needs sex, at that point, you are not feeling it, but it is your duty to give to him. Yeah. What's I can him? already hear the people talking about what about his own duty to me? Why will I be doing this? Calm, uh, no, calm down. Not calm everything is down. He's your husband uh -uh. and you are his wife. He too. You he will one. dutiful you. Yeah, exactly. So we're not saying that it's only um, women that should give it to men. Men also have to learn that even when they want sex, it's your job to be able to turn your wife on because women are not like a switch like we are. Our own touch us at attention any time of the day. Not now. <laughs> At attention any time of the day, you know. So, but for women, you have to start from from earlier earlier in the day. Like you want to have sex at 8 p.m. Start from 11 a.m. Send her something cute. Send her something that make her feel loved. Women, Arouse her. Women usually are more provoked to sex when they are feeling loved. Men, yep. you love me, you hate me. Once you touch me, I'm ready. But you see, yep. from women, you have to find a way to make them feel loved so that 
when you want to have that sex as you so desire, she's already in the mood too. So it's your it's your duty as a man to mm. be able to, you know, mm. you know arouse your Just your to even woman. share a, an experience that we had had, mm. I think there was one night he had come out from work, I mean, he pent up frustration, whatever, and wanted to have sex, and then I'd had a long day, I was tired. I was like, no, brother, not today. She you know, and then, and then he was like, oh, you know, baby, and I was, and I didn't even answer him. Like, I didn't even Paul, register or Paul, recognize Paul that me. he was even making any move. And he, and that got him upset, you know, and that's where communication comes in. And she gave so, me dark navy blue <laughs> navy so blue for me boys. i felt like ah, doesn't you know i'm i'm tired can't you see that i'm tired but i had to communicate it to him so another time that happened and at the same scenario but another time and then i remember telling him that you know what let's not do tonight but mm. tomorrow ah i will show you and, and before before he even woke up, I had woken yep. him up. Yep. <laughs> he was ready so, to go. So that's the place of neg for negotiation. Yeah. Really, so. Yeah, true. Because I mean, we had watched something and how they had spoken about them as a couple where they had their own role in the house where if somebody initiates sex and the other person is not ready, it is up to that hours. person to initiate to sex. Initiate, initiate, initiate sex within 24 hours. Ah, okay. Some other people might have for tips hours. So for example, if I want sex and she says she's not, she doesn't want it now. 24 hours after it's up to her to try and you know make it up out of duty and yep. it goes vice versa so whatever um rule you have in your home or your mind whatever works for you but the i think the essential thing we're trying to point out is that dutiful sex is something that is very very key for your sex life to thrive because in your marriage in your marriage 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 <laughs> marriage not relationship, marriage, relationship, <laughs> not dating, not friendship. Exactly. Ma, they're nothing like beautiful sex mm -hmm. in French. Mm -hmm. Please, so. Hey, what's that one they call it again? Not, um, ah, not, it's not your entanglements. Uh -huh. not entanglements. Uh, sex should not be inside any of those. Well, we don't need to start blowing the trumpet about why you should not have sex before marriage. Hey, that's a conversation for another time. Conversation for another time that we might mm -hmm. probably talk about in another part of the series yeah. but for this particular one these are the two things we've learned so far learned, yeah. first one is sex is not always going to be the the meal of the day in marriage <laughs> <laughs> what you expect your sex life to be is not necessarily going to be it, but you have mm -hmm. to be able to communicate and be intentional about your sex life intentional yeah and then number two there are two types of sex beautiful, beautiful and sex beautiful and sex. beautiful sex yep beautiful sex for me i think is what actually um um um, is what actually contributes more to that longevity in the sex life. Because yeah, there's beautiful mm. sex, but I think more times out of none, you most likely perform beautiful sex more than beautiful sex in your marriage. So to the ladies, so to the men... do you think our sex life is good? Oh yeah, I think. I think we're I doing just good. saying that because we're, we're here, everybody's watching us. No. Are you sure? Yeah. I can tell sex is nice. Yes. Good. Yes. So, <laughs> that is what we've learned <laughs> so far. On this sex journey that again we are going on by ourselves without you yeah and then we'll come back from the mountain <laughs> from the sex mountain and let you know how that has been inside marriage because once again sex was created by god for men and women to enjoy within the confinement of, of marriage. marriage miles Morrow always said something he said if the purpose of the thing is not known abuse it's is inevitable. inevitable so yeah. please 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 sex was created for marriage and that's what we learned so far so Till next time We're on the sex series, beautiful sex we would be talking to you about some, what is wrong, what is wrong with this woman? We're done with the video now. Please, what <laughs> like, share. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, comment, everything. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> What's wrong with you, guys?